And we are back with BRX Pro Tips. Lee Cantor, Stone Payton here with you. Lee, so many new uh, approaches, tools, resources available as uh, as our enterprise continues to grow and seek out new markets. Shouldn't necessarily jump on every one, but uh, you have in mind three specific things to automate right now to grow your business. Absolutely. I think that... Um uh, if you automate the right things, then you're really going to uh, have a, a lot easier time down the road. One of the first things that I would try to automate uh, in your life is uh, your follow-ups. Anybody that you've kind of come in contact with that you want to stay in contact with, I would figure out some way to have some automation to follow up a few more times, take a few more swings at that prospect down the road. It may not be a cadence of, you know, every day, but it should be a cadence of you know, every month or every quarter, or every six months, uh, because, you know, just reminding those folks that you've uh, dealt with in the past that you still exist, you're still there serving people um, definitely helps. And um, and you will definitely benefit from that if you can do that relentlessly and especially in an automated manner. And that might be a drip newsletter or a tip sequence, but just uh, some way that they can see your name and brand regularly is going to help you down the road. And you'll be able to nurture all those relationships instead of letting them kind of die on the vine. Another thing that I would automate is your learning. I think it's important to subscribe to bloggers, authors, speakers that you like, uh, subscribe to their newsletters to keep getting, to keep learning from the people you respect the most. So I think that if you can automate some of your learning, that that definitely pays dividends. And finally, the last thing that I think you should automate is, uh, paying yourself. I think that it's important to put money aside uh, for yourself every week, month, day, whatever works for you in just kind of a relentless manner. Um, and that'll help you kind of build that wealth that you're trying to build. Um, and, and it'll keep you kind of financially afloat, no matter what's happening in your business or the economy or whatever, as long as you're just consistently making sure that you're saving some money, putting it aside, uh, whether it's to grow your business or just to uh, kind of grow your family finances. I think that being relentless with that is a must do, not a nice thing to be doing. You should be doing it relentlessly. 